Do you have Call of the Week? Um, where is it? If you don't have it, you should definitely get it. And also, if you get it, make sure to turn it on. Oh, there it is. Now we get to be extremely annoying. All right. No, I did make the mistake of doing the short rest while I was out of care, out of uh, form or in form. Womp womp. Cool. Ah, oh, that's a weak heal. Ugh, level two spell slot gave me nine health. Then level one spell slot gave me nine health. <laughs> D and D healing. Okay. Let's see, I guess we'll continue deeper inside now, and hopefully they don't aren't all gonna kill us. Let's see, so what'd you do this level as a Starian? I just leveled him back into thief. So now he takes half damage when he gets hit. We've got our second waypoint now. What? Waypoint. Oh, yes. The missus and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. All right, there's Shrek's caress. I wasn't caress, quite ready so. to see such a Shreky orc. <laughs> Well, uh, surprising lack of overall people coming after us right now. Because no one saw our crime. <laughs> we just eviscerated everyone. And it's just like, it's fine. Let's see, which part of this is the caress? I guess this is, because this is the bridge that must lead into the actual Baldur's Gate. Okay. Uh, let's see what this place is. Oh, this is Shress's caress, so we we'll probably want to go in with Lizelle here. Do we want to go in there first, or do we want to look around for more incidental stuff before we progress the main quest? There are enemies. Uh, I can see them on the map. Uh. Hit save. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that aggroed me all the way back here. They ins they're inside. I guess they're just people that the game sets to hostile but forgets to put in the fight. <laughs> they're probably allied with the previous ones. Like, there's fist people right there that aren't joining. It's just it's strange. What the fuck? Why <laughs> why did that waste my key point? God damn it. Yeah, I keep getting a little flicker of it saying I can shoot him and then it says I can't. There it is. Yeah, I just had to trick the game by clicking a lot, and eventually one of the clicks will work. Aha! I'm a gamer! No choice but to keep going. I'm so good at gamering. Scratch. <laughs> it's Lazel's turn. It is Lazel's turn. 
Give me a second, I'm fiddling with something. There we go. What? What? I thought I... That was weird. I thought I ended her turn. That was odd. LOL. We <laughs> did <laughs> it? No. I don't want to click that button yet, I don't think. Nope. There's a bounty list and a special order. Well, that's a very long bounty list scroll. Dogberry Forceps. Fraudulent Impersonation. <laughs> what a name. Special order. Iron Hand Gnomes. Let it be known that, that these terror bringers and violent peace disruptors would be killed on sight. The attempt to bring them in for questioning or trial should create too great a risk to local officers. Signed, Duke Older Ravenguard. So kill, kill the Iron Hand Gnomes. Isn't that well are those dead? The people we Were those the people we saved? Um, I don't know. The chest is locked. Yeah, Duke Ravenguard should be uh, the dad. What are these flaming fists doing? Just all stare staring into space over here? That's... I don't know what to make of them. Just chillaxing. Let's see, we can try this left building. We definitely can. Frego's flop house. Didn't we just hear about this place? Yes, there's uh, an objective yes. inside. That's Which the place with the key that we're gonna the flower want to key, yep. Play around with. I found so many victims for Casadori. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Give me just a moment. And his bleeding notions. Seems like a good moment to talk. Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Room buckers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. To be fair, the high priest just died. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk. Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. What is your trade? Let me show you. Um, potions of flying and greater healing and things. Some goofy items. There we go. Onyx. There we go. Sorry, my like one of my desktop backgrounds was flickering in my periphery, and it was very distracting. <laughs> Weird. And I bought some more healing potions. Good. More for the stock. Look at you. Exhausting. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. Why won't they let you in? The bridge guards had some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. 
I'm always a little surprised. Good. So, uh, give me three days and. Oh, I uh, apologies. Thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. I just went to shake my my coffee thing, and the cap flew off, and I just sprayed coffee all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing it's not that hot. Uh, fuck! <laughs> Give me a second to clean some of this up. <laughs> You're just falling apart for the last twenty minutes. <laughs> no, it's just, how? It's just, just annoying shit. <laughs> he's annoying. just having so much trouble sitting in a chair. <laughs> Everything's going wrong all at the same time. <laughs> I wish I wish we had a compilation of all of the slapstick things that Toaster has described happening to him when he just tries to eat or something at his chair. Stupid. There's been so many. <laughs> it's not been that many. There it's definitely been. It's definitely been it sincerely enough. comes up a lot. Sir Frego and Tuna, a most generous soul, are you sure? How dare you! Accusing an upstanding citizen Fuck. like me of being a dwarf. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Did you accidentally mash? Because it kept skipping I, I'm every line. I'm cleaning my keyboard and it just skipped through the dialogue, which okay, is yeah. whatever. But... Well, you were racist because you the, the coffee made you racist. That's a new excuse. I've never okay. quite had that one before. <laughs> I'm cleaning the fucking... Don't coffee worry, everyone. out of my ignore, numpad. Ignore the racism, everybody. It's just the coffee. I'm gonna talk to everyone now. Go ahead. I also just broke a keyboard cap stabilizer. Fuck. Well, it's fine. Didn't you just switch this keyboard like five minutes ago? Yeah, it's just. It's fine. The stabilizer, <laughs> this particular stabilizer, stabilizer being broken is like not really a big deal because it's just one little portion of it. I'm feeling a bit peckish. What do you have? I get these. Just this meat. It's just meat. Alright, enjoy your meat, ma'am. That should do you. I didn't do anything, ma'am. I don't actually want your meat. Somebody else in this room? Back. No, that's all my people. I will gladly my too many people. Here, I'll try to unracist this guy. I'll talk to him separately. What did you think I was? The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna, a most generous soul, I assure you. No, it's just the whole conversation for me. I guess it's happened already or something. Down upstairs. Worker Bernier. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingy me jigs? I trust them about as far as I can throw them, which they're very heavy. I don't know. You're a pretty big bastard. I reckon you could choke one further than most. But I catch your drift. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, it's no good, I tell you. I don't like that this dwarf's chin was clipping through his own beard. Just think. That was upsetting. Soon we'll feel the so we should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. Oh. I only need one more mark. Vampires. What? We have enough for Vampires, the master. gotcha. No more needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there ready for me. And once oh. the mass is done and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. That's, That's how it's no pronounced. To welcome back a brother, doll. <laughs> Didn't Cazador? you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Astarian. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. 
He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. You always were an idiot, Petras. Why does Cazador need me? What is he planning? Hawk or burn, your choice. You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now! The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. Keep talking. The Black Mass, it will be his triumph. He'll complete the ritual and emerge the Vampire Ascendant. He'll walk in the sun. He'll be free of the hunger. He'll wield power no vampire has ever possessed. Best of all, we'll join him. His loyal servants walking in the light as living vampires. We'll be free, brother. <laughs> you can't believe that. You can't be that stupid. We deserve this, Astarian. Can't you see? We've given him everything. Our blood and tears. And he's finally going to reward us. And you will be with us when the time comes. It's fate. Written in your very flesh. Oh. Rude. It's been so long that it's easy to forget that, right, Asterion can't, isn't supposed to be in the sun. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be happening. <laughs> but also, it's very funny to me that, like, this whole conversation about the secret of the Dark Mass and the Defiled Chapel is happening five feet away from the the dwarf that's like, those robots are taking our jobs. He's just right there in the same room, basically, while this whole scene's happening. <laughs> uh, they'll warn him we're coming. Yes. And they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Still, though, a living vampire. Hmm. I need to take a bath again. <laughs> I hate how often <laughs> I'm just covered in blood. I don't like this part of... Ever since Dragon Age Origins, I'm like, stop! No, this isn't... I don't like this. You know how, much, how often you get in fights that cover you in blood? The whole game. That's just the whole game, then. I always immediately turn that off if it's a setting. What of it? You can already walk in the sun. Yes, but only because of the parasite. This would be true freedom. Freedom from the hunger. Freedom to live a real life in the sun. No tapel required. And if I were to ascend instead of him, freedom from Cazador, once and for all. Is that possible for you to take his place? Well, it might be. And there's only one way to find out. I have to know. I have to face him. And what if we're walking into a trap? Then we'll deal with it. It can't be worse than everything else we've faced. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Rat blood and despair. I guess a sign of how much he's grown past all this stuff is that the thing that he was afraid of, so afraid of in the first place, is now a thing that he's like, how bad could it be? It's just all of my greatest fears. Yeah. Well, it might be just that he's just stubbornly decides on something and now he's just saying shit to justify it. Uh. 
Shabby wardrobe. Lots of locked doors and whatnot. Let's see. I suppose one of these many chests might be the one that the thing unlocks. Uh, very possible. So maybe if I just try them all, I'll magic pockets it. If it's the right one. Ion. Just a wooden chest, wooden chest. Not for communal use, it seems. Oh, he didn't like that. Go away. Oh, he's looking at me now. It's annoying. I'm just trying to see which one the key works on. Because I don't know if it has a name on it. Anything up here, maybe? Oh. Okay, upstairs is a wardrobe where if you use the key on it, you teleport into the next room. Okay. Bloodstained parchment, that's probably the important one. A list of names. Father Lorgan's on here, crossed off. Sort by latest, list of names. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn the scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the dread Lord's Tribunal and oop. blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Hmm, I get to play detective. Detective Kanth is on the case. You were already on the case. <laughs> this is the same case. The game is afoot. I... Well, if you read enough detective novels, you don't have to write anything else new ever again. A body hidden under the bed. Fawn's key, a flower-shaped key with a five scratched into the petals. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal enter the, tri the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the Cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood, aspirant. Duke Boleyn mm. Stelmain, dot Father Lorgan, Dribbles the Clown, Alexander Rainforest, Frank Pear, Frank Pear Tree. Those old pe all those people died. And still on the list is Cora Highberry, Fiago Pennygood, Chef Rovere, Nessa Nesha Vari Van Thumper, and Fr Friedrich Hune. All throughout the lower two and upper hands city. now, two hands, two of them, more needed, not enough, must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood more. This person wants to become a ball spawn, I think. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, because that's what I just read. Yeah. Guide to Avernus, to, we'll take that. That was the whole goal, is that's why they're killing all the people and framing them as being fake murders of the absolute. Uh, that's very Baldur's Gate. Um... One and two. So my latest. Ooh, scarlet leather armor. Become of the highest of cord. Can't look at the temple plans. Covered in blood. All right. Something good here, I hope. All right, we should look for something emblazoned with a five, maybe. Because that's what the thing was. Oh, it's the fifth room, I think, next door, maybe. Because that's a hotel, isn't it? Mm, that would make sense. I'll just fly on over. Not that one. Oh, 
Oop. Kithrak Voss is in here. And Raphael. Okay. <laughs> I think you uh, should come here. Yeah, I These will do that. These are both characters from your story. Yeah. Okay. I'll hop over. No, oh, this, this, could not, this could not be more of a toaster room. <laughs> Hold on. I tried the next door over and it didn't magic pockets. Yeah. Okay. Um, fuck. All right. Well, I guess we'll just walk right in. Hi, everybody. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak. What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, to Lagmagir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Oh, he has a new scar. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Another party trick. Show me something real. That was no party trick. Somebody's missing. Can't you tell? That illithid you keep in your pocket can't hear us anymore. Then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far, but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The Emperor. No, no, no. It has only helped to push you toward your own destruction. It wants you to be an illithid. The very thing you have sought to avoid. It is the illithid's prisoner that can save you. The Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. 
Go on. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. It's very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Just tell me what you want. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kalir. I'm tempted, but tell me why you're so eager to get hold of the crown. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it, long centuries ago, and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting, and Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world, and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. Why didn't you take the crown there and then? The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. How did they come to have the crown? Through the aid of a diabolist, somebody capable of opening a portal to the hells. Deep in the hells. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> But it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me 
In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. I appreciate that they're like, okay, this got complicated enough. It involves a game spanning narrative. Uh, the narrator's just gonna summarize the fucking dilemma for a second here, <laughs> which has like almost never happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I agree. I, oh, go on. I have no fucking clue how this interacts with multiplayer. I agree to the deal. Where do I sign? Right here. You'll find everything is in order. Where's Mizora? Read the terms and conditions. I need my rule, your rules lawyer. Mm -hmm. You will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown the will be mine penis. once the brain is defeated. And I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. Six new journal entries. Oh, God. Perfect. One more rhyme for old time's sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both, the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe until then. Your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you. And when I do, we dine. The ink has barely dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort. Or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. I have. Hmm. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm. I'm very interested in this, and I'm very Lizelle excited talk. about this. Lizelle. I'm going to. Lizelle. I'm going to talk to. My, I will talk to my wife in a Lizelle. second. Just come your point. Um, they disappear sometimes. They. I thought uh. I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Don't worry, it was normal. <laughs> it was nice to have a moment of peace and quiet. I can understand that. There's reprieve in solitude. But it's concerning that something could intervene like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Woohoo. I have no inspiration, so we gotta save. <laughs> <laughs> or just get caught. <laughs> I mean, I could just tell him it was Raphael, but... Uh... Is your character a liar? Uh, I have good deception, I, I think. I mean, personality-wise. Plus four, difficulty class, there's, I would have to crit. I would have to crit to get it. I'll try it. Reload and I'll just tell him it was fucking what's his name. Ooh, I got different dice. I didn't even realize. You got different dice? Yeah, got a little red die. Uh, I'll try. Crit, crit, crit. Nope. Didn't crit. Reload. <laughs> Let's see what it, what it looks like. A blatant lie. You're trying to deceive me. But why? Someone must have intervened. 
someone you don't want me to know about. You feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours, trying to gain access and succeeding. Raphael. Of course. I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Hmm. He wants the crown that's on the brain. Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return for bringing it to him? Does it matter I turn down his offer? Uh. Technically easier. Nope. Oh, God damn had, it. But you had no bonuses too. Again, yeah. the Emperor pries at the boundaries of your thoughts. Invasive. Curious. You're the one who's always talking about trust. If you trust me, you'll stop this right now. That is... a fair request. You feel its presence withdrawing from the fringes of your awareness. I shall respect your privacy on this occasion. But know that if you have jeopardized our mutual project, I will be forced to reconsider our alliance. Now come. We have an elder brain to destroy. <laughs> that was very dangerous, because for as much as he tries to pretend we're working together, if he thinks that we're not on the same side anymore, he can just let us turn. Yeah. Um, I do now have an idea. I think... So here's my take. All right. And I'm not sure the game will let me do this. But he made us sign a contract. And we know that devils gain their power from contracts. Because Mizora and Will also have a tangible contract. I think his House of Hope or whatever is a location we can get to. I think he took you there once. Yeah, he at did. At the beginning. So With I'm the, wondering. The, the hearth and whatnot. In I'm fact, wondering. He said he's, didn't he say he's going to take you there to feast? He said we could go there to feast once I gave him the crown. Uh, um, but I'm wondering. You can betray him. If I can steal my contract back. The physical object. The physical object. Because, and the reason why I think this is the case, or that there might be an out for this, is that, as you said, the narrator was like, hmm, you sure are on a path for a specific ending. Maybe yeah. you can find a way out of that if you talk to if, a very Diablo specific NPC <laughs> yeah. type. So it's like, are we gonna, are we gonna do Toaster's favorite thing? Are we gonna do a heist mission? Betray everybody. <laughs> We just need a Diablerist, apparently. That's a word. Diablerist? Not sure. I'd sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. But we shouldn't regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. I also God, like we, the need, we all need a bath. <laughs> I like the themes of this, though, because the original Vlacketh or no, the original Gith made a deal with Tiamat, who was an archdevil, I believe, in order to get the red dragons. So it's like mirroring the original creation myth of the Gith, which is cool. Is that deal still ongoing? Yes, that's why they have the red dragons. I mean, like, the thing that bound, binds them to Tiamat, like, are they still doing something for Tiamat? Uh, I think so. Can we trust Raphael? That Orphic hammer could be worthless. You're right to question. Devils are slippery creatures. 
They twist their tongues into knots to convince you a rock pile was mithril. Ask Will. He knows that better than anyone. But a broker is as bound by his contract as his buyer. The hammer must be real, or Raphael could never have the crown. Now, to the Charesse's caress tap room. <laughs> we must tell Voss the news. Charesse's caress. <gasps> Wait, I can't have a bath. Yay. Your prince awaits Gith Yankee and the dawning of a new age. Shut up, I'm taking a bath. Wait, it's not working. I'm in the water. You just uh, try crouching. Oops. Connor's big and open view. Uh, Quick, shove me. <laughs> um. Give me a second. Yeah! This place. Just I'm so tired of being covered in blood in every scene. There we go. Devil don't rhyme a verse epic. <laughs> a heroic fantasy poem in v verse form told in the first person by a bold poet who challenges a devil clearly modeled on Raphael to an improvised poetry contest to win back the soul of his lover. The following couplet has been circled in red ink. If the line doesn't scan, the devil sneers. You forfeit your soul and end in tears. Ha, I'll keep my time and make my rhyme with vim and snap and no down came the claw crap. He's a really bad rapper. <laughs> There's invasion plans for Baldur's Gate here. Uh, I have a gift for you. Black flare leather outfit? Mm-hmm. Did you also see that? I did. Does it like... <laughs> I gave you another one, too. Strapped choker leather outfit. Yeah, it's got a choker. <laughs> Still has the uh, the harness sticking out too. Welcome to the hot orc summer. I double rolled a fucking three. <laughs> God damn it! That's impressive. There's a mirror in here. He can't Let's use. Have a look at myself. Right, because he still can't go outside. Starion has powers. Wait, no, he's the devil. He's the devil. He's not Kazador. White thinking... pawn orders. White pawn, you were to find a high-profile unsolved crime and confess to it, turning yourself into. Porter, after arranging at Baldur's mouth for coverage, you know which reporter to use. Your position in the FF barracks should make it easy to identify a crime that, when resolved, will add greatly to Porter's renown. This will cancel your debt. White Bishop. White Bishop, prepare yourself for a major speech. Oh my god, Raphael is like making major plays. He's manipulating a ton of people. I have four different options for, for pants colors from this set. White Knight, your task is finally at hand. A commander of the Sea Tower, you'll close all the subcommanders. You'll, you're close to all the subcommanders of the Flaming Fist. Sun them out to their willingness to support the possibility of Flame Porter's promotion to Marshal, perhaps even beyond. Encourage those who are lukewarm to be prepared to rank themselves behind Porter when the elevates, or when the events elevate her in power and prominence. However, for those who would oppose her, don't push them. Just make a note of their names and positions, and they will be dealt with by other means. This will cancel your debt and doubtless line you up for greater responsibilities as well. Prepare yourself, Raphael. Hmm. Raphael is doing some plotting. What? No. Starian. How doth Mysterian look in myriad costume? Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see, what about that one? Hmm. 
There we go, I've upgraded Sterian's attire. With even more <laughs> demon clothes. It does look like he's the one that's running things now, though. He's got expensive clothes and I'm set up to be a Thunder Down Under dancer. We do. Early signs of gay when I was very interested in those posters going to Los, going to Las Vegas as like a 14 year old. What is this place? Elminster's Library? Oh. This Rules of I'm... the Reading Room. Well, a lot of important Anyone... characters are in this fucking inn, aren't they? Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. Any wizards caught examining <laughs> the special collection without express permission will be commanded to read aloud the whole library the passage they were enjoying. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. Oh my god, it's his fucking sex. It's his <laughs> sex dungeon. Yay! A, the text written on the back of this smut advertises it. A slow-paced enemies to lovers tale featuring a bitter archwizard of Thay and his nemesis a pure-hearted muscled berserker. I can't unsee the idea that because I'm wearing a choker now that it's too tight and that's why my head is red. The butler's cane has a knob <laughs> on the end. Vincent Raspington, who, though he is a silly dragonborn with stiff manners and generally baffled attitude to the goings of fine fair ladies and their gentlemen, ends up going arse over tea kettle into extremely erotic situations with the local nobility. Needless to say, he's unprepared for it. There's a particularly good sequence in which Vincent, a seven foot tall dragonborn, must pretend to be a shy little gnome to be Missy Wimple Snitch during a banquet. Guffaw, far, he he ho hum, etc. Paladin of Suna gets summons from the goddess, a mission to lie with someone from every town on the Sword Coast to prove their devotion to love. Oh my god! He's a perverted fucking old man! Yeah. He's so powerful. That's what that's why he's a powerful wizard. He charges his He puts on his wizard for, robe and hat for, do for dozens of years and now he's oh unstoppable. Oh my god. And there's more green flare outfits and chokers over here. More colors. There's even more. <laughs> what is happening in this neighborhood? Fion's journal. Oh, was this the dead person? He's getting worse. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. I know he's hiding something and the others in the flophouse know it too. I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him and I can't blame them. I am too. Okay. What the fuck? Dog collar next to the bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Conical flask, a cauldron. Oh my god, the Kama Sutra is here. <laughs> Move immediately from the bugbear bend into the underdark choke. Instead, after strenuous positions, gentler ones such as threading the weave or transitive plane are encouraged. Oh my god. It's the it's the it's the magic enforced Kama Sutra. In this alternate history sex adventure, the one and only Yoshimo does not betray the ball spawn. In fact, he does almost anything the ball spawn asks for very readily. Is that fucking fan fiction about Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? I wonder if fucking Jihiro would comment <laughs> on that. <laughs> oh my god. This room is cursed. It's beautiful. He's living his best life. Maybe these are just the same colors again. Don't need all these on me, they are heavy. I'm happy the old man has had hundreds of years of weird magic sex. Uh, there were people fucking in here, and it, with the so nudity turned off, it's just, uh... Just undies. <laughs> but I just realized, since I... Are not, not recording. You don't need to have the the censored. I don't yeah. need. I don't need to have it censored. So I get to play the fun game. I get to play the game <laughs> fun. These people's names: Fist, Fist, Yara. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, I have to play with the everybody doesn't have penises mod or mode. Oh. Oh. 
You can bother them if you want to. I don't really have a need to. Steeped in bliss, aw. No, that's an effect from me being there. My oh. presence made it better for them. They liked it when I oh. was watching. I thought that was an effect they had from talking. No, it's because I have a I have oh. a stone in my I inventory. Thought, I thought the video game was being cute. It wasn't. You don't have to think about a thing. And it was just me being cute. Feeling cute, might whip out my stone later. the aurora stretched across the north skies you are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. you are the fruit of the forbidden palm soft on my skin sweet on my tongue you are my sin and salvation. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. Uh, what's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait! I know you. You aren't safe. Get out of here now. I don't understand. What's... Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. Uh, do and not... Silence. I'm gonna get in there so that I can help you. Don't progress the dialogue. Oh? Oh. Yep, that's a mind flare. Oh, and the brain's quaking again. Okay. Not gonna lie, seeing this outfit with this hair in these cutscenes is a lot. <laughs> Wolfthorn has reached his horniest state so far. Okay, I, I wish she wasn't still standing right next to him. Uh. Okay, it's dead. Very good. She's not dying of poison? Okay, good. Damn, we shredded through that. Um, sorry about the everything. Hells, I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. <gasps> she was into its it. Blood shimmers like silver. Uh huh. She was into the mind flare. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dialogue option number four. <laughs> yeah, They're beautiful That's indeed. Funny. Most lethal. Is it not in the Elithid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. She's so your horny. Her senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. You just watch this old thing, all this happen, and she's now she's just horny here. <laughs> Rachel aroused you, didn't it? Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. 
But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. You gotta respect the monster fucker. And what did you, you have in mind? Give me a cue. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? Puppy. Puppy. <laughs> Contented. You are more than contented. You are at total peace. Your belly is full. Your mind rested. Your eyes bright. No more will you hear the clang of steel on steel. No more will you fear the cry of a wolf, the growl of an ogre. You are warm. You are safe. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. Oh. Rapture. Affected entity has 1d6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws until the next long rest. Ooh. Oh, geez, that's a huge bonus. <laughs> Well, she's apparently going to be fine after what happened. But are there right. more cool, co are there more horny costumes well, in this room? Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. Um, I bet she's put you up to something. She asked me to find Lorgan's real killer, seeing as you can't be bothered. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? I found the murder weapon you missed in a tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? I assume for the same reason as all the other people on the target list. To gain Ball's favor. Really? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Ball for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in what fear the fuck? But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. Okay, that was I'll weird. Bite. What's your theory? Uh, what did he say? Uh, I just assumed it was a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fearmongering, but she's been unusually insistent about it. This one, even for her. Okay. That was weird. I don't know why I did that. I scrolled my scroll wheel, and it it skipped the dialogue. Hmm. Uh, can't be it's trusted. not a theory. I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to the ballist resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. 
Detective Camp finds a way. <laughs> it's well, wild. Just... What are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. It's wild. There just is a flying elephant that just shows up and it's just... Everyone's just reacting like this is normal, so I guess it is. It's just I'm so pleased, and Kant is so handsome now. Times. This is so great. It's, <laughs> we're, look at how beautiful my boy and his wife are. I'm, I'm so pleased. We're such a handsome couple. Our children are going to be beautiful. <laughs> Better not be cursed. At the ready. Voss, friend to the <laughs> she always looks like this. Kalea, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Yeah. So you made the deal with Raphael, after all. Fool. <laughs> the prince of the comet is not dead. The prince of the comet will come again. The prince of the comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the astral plane? Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss, and I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Vinisk. Now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the planes, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble! Think again. I will not permit your entry. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Is there any way I can convince you? No, there is not. Questions, Vinisk? You seem to be lost in thought. There's too many Orpheus. brains in here. Orpheus sensed the tadpole before, and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. His ears Getting off. into the astral prism will be complicated. Yes. But you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. Voss is... just the, the supportive father that we always needed. <laughs> He's just like, yes, you'll do great. You're a warrior. I believe in you. Oh, we can trade with Voss. Um, let me look at Lysel really quickly. <laughs> the whole time, he's just judging. Oh, you would. <laughs> the brain guy. How much money do I need? If we can take his silver sword, Lysel's damage will go up by uh, a massive amount every hit. <laughs> Which is terrifying. Just I just buffs. need... I just need 11... 100 gold, I think. Normal, reasonable. <sighs> Damn, I don't have enough gold. That I probably lost my only chance to, uh, yeah, uh, I lost my only chance to get it from him. Oh, well. No. What do you mean? Uh, Silver Sword of the Astral Plane, 6 to 21 damage, I have it. Oh, did he give it to you in that conversation? It was the reward for the quest. Oh, then yes, give it to Lizel, please. So yeah, we just have it. The big golden sword. <laughs> Holy fuck. Were you thinking of stealing it from him? <laughs> no, I was thinking about buying it off of him. <laughs> My wife needs to speak. This 
since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. You know what I thought of. The only place my brain possibly could go at this point in moments like this. You recall another fact about silver swords. The Gith Yankee forbid their use by all other peoples. Only a Gith Yankee may wield a silver sword. Or would you permit others? No, I wouldn't. Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver. Unless a Gith Yankee grants the right in exceptional circumstance. The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. These are exceptional circumstances. I grant my allies the right to my silver. I shared your dream, a keen blade for an entire Geek massacre. A dream we made reality. A Kithrak silver sword is more than a weapon. It is an extension of your will, an entire limb unto itself. You merely need oh, well. to think strike, and it strikes. The sword carves the correct path and carries your arm with it. The ancient slates tell us that each sword holds a fragment of the living gate, a flesh portal made from the stuffs of nightmare. The silver injures the body, the gate's flesh injures the mind, a formidable weapon against Gaeth. Could this sword be enough to break Orpheus free? Certainly not, or the prince's honor guard would have already fractured his prison. To break Orpheus free, we will need the Orphic Hammer. The fact that it's called that is so fucking funny. <laughs> what makes the Silver Sword so special? A Kithrak Silver Sword is more than a weapon. Where you heard that? It is a terrible living gate. Thinner than a lamb's hair and hidden deep beneath the Feywild. The silver injures the body. The gate's flesh injures the mind. A full- Alright. I well, wouldn't recommend getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of her victims. I, uh, I just got my, my wife such a good wedding gift. You finished. She's done. She's done progressing. She's just, she has all the things she needs. Is her quest over? No, I mean, like, she's reached her final form. Samus has all of her upgrades back. It's over. Yes, yes, she's good. Uh, Kithrak Voss has left to gather allies. Now we must find a way to enter the artifact and break Orpheus free is her quest. Gotcha. And yes, um, the uh, deal with the devil quest has two separate objective options. Escape the deal or fulfill the deal. Oh, holy fuck. I was what? fucking right. The fucking description. We signed Raphael's deal, but we are having second thoughts about giving the ultra-powerful crown of Karsus to a devil. Raphael is smart, but perhaps he can be outsmarted. If we could get into the House of Hope and destroy our contract, that would void the deal. I was so fucking right. Uh -huh. Oh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready to pull one over Raphael. Just need to figure out how to get in now. Yeah. We need to get into the House of Hope and we need to get into the artifacts for your two objectives now. Mm hmm. And both of them are heisty. Neither of them want you in. Let's see. Find and get access to the Temple of Bale. Because they found the Balest target. And that's all tied to Orin. Yeah, that's where Orin is. So Orin's Bale's disciple, I guess. And Orin, yeah. Gortash and Orin are the two competing main objectives. Mm. Uh, defiled chapel beneath Casador's palace. Wizard mm -hmm. of Waterdeep. 
the game is getting very fun. <laughs> uh, so we need to find a, what is it, Diabolist? And Gale wants to go to the Sorceress Sundries. Yeah, some kind of Diabolist or Diabloist or Devil Scholar character. Yeah. All right, so we got to find a, a Diabolist. I can't I stop think. reading it as, the as, as it. Faye goes Flophouse. Ah, Steel War Watchers. You all right? <laughs> yeah, there's just two of them here. Don't talk to them. <laughs> I'm not going that's all, to. That's the, that's the whole trick. <laughs> I'm sure that works. Oh, I just love these this fucking cityscape. Yeah, there's so much here. It's intimidating. There's so many characters. Don't draw any trouble on old Entha. But that was me for a second. Like he's up what? For it, but he's retired for a reason. I thought that was me for a second. Oh no. Uh I don't know why it didn't let me try to trade with him. That was weird. Oh, this is the guy. This is Dantalon, the the dwarf here. Man, I'm stoked. I'm so stoked. This game continues to be really fucking good. <laughs> I love it when video games are good. And I hate it when they're bad. Yeah. Video games should only be good. It would be nice. Let's see, what is this building? So Dantalon's blade or whatever. This Dancing is a axe. Yeah, it's like an art. It's a used weapon store. <laughs> <laughs> Dantalon Tarn. They have multiple orc people. Oh, oh, this is the secret Harper hideout. Let's see what you have to trade. No, it didn't. It didn't listen. Weird. Horns of the Berserker. You gain a plus two bonus. Holy fuck, you gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. That seems bananas. Unarmed and melee attacks will deal an extra two necrotic damage. Holy shit. Oh, but I have to deal damage every turn or else I take damage. Hmm. Berserker. Let's see. Let's see what's upstairs. <laughs> oh, these fashionable citizens with their goofy hats. I wonder if I can get a mask or face paint to help deal with the horrible face I have. Apothecary. Now here's someone who appreciates the finer things. There's an apothecary Welcome with a funny sir. monocle and, and cowboy hat. This man. Stylin' Horst. Inhale mm. through the nose. Hold. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Delicious, no? And I've smelled better. <laughs> There's no accounting for taste. You may find my selection somewhat misaligned with your particular preferences. Quite the establishment you have here. I must say, I'm rather proud of it. The wood paneling cost a fortune, but it's so worth it for the luxe atmosphere. It There's provides. half plates plus two down here if you want it, as an aside. Oh, what have you got in stock? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Yep, more potions and poisons. That's the huge. Be sure to savor each purchase. 
Let's see. Uh, yeah, half plate plus two would be pretty good because I just have regular half plate. Oh, there's a secret bonus house up here. Oh, but it is locked. What is in here? There's a super sneaky special place upstairs that's locked. I'll unlock it in a minute. I'm looking at stuff. I'm still th deciding what to buy. I am probably going to start getting low on cash here in a minute, but... I've got more to sell, I just need time between sessions to like, haul shit out of my storage now that we're actually in a town again. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a lot of stuff here that might be good. Let's see next door. What is this place? Carms Garms. Carms Garms. Oh, I garments. hate the sound of that. That's an awful sounding. <laughs> it's just awful. Yep. Carms Garms. It's where they sell garments. Someone named Carm, I guess. Yep, Carmen. Carmen Pennygood. <gasps> they're gonna be murdered! I better talk to them and tell them they're gonna get murdered later. You. Oh, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Carmen. <laughs> what can I do you for? Uh. You've not quite got the patter nailed down yet, Carmen. Ugh. If it's empty patter you want, get your clothes from a brother, Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Garms has you covered. I think they're gonna kill f your brother too. <laughs> I think you're both in danger. Your brother's oh what oh is Figaro Penny good? I only recognize that part of the name. Got it. Your brother is in danger. I found his name on a serial killer's list. A killer? That's God. I have no love from my brother, but that's extreme. He doesn't deserve that. Thanks for warning me, but it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. Well, that's a problem. So you don't get on with your brother. You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk, that I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, <laughs> dick. Maybe Figaro wanted his sister close. You just lost your dad after all. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? All right, let's look at your wares. Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. I was looking for gayer, but... I wish there was a preview screen. Oh, examine, does that count? Kind of, almost. Almost. Doesn't go on you, though, which is what you'd want. The obsidian outfit. I kind of want a mask, since, I, since my face is all grody. The right. backless extravaganza is so. <laughs> such a name to give something. Where are you exactly? I'm across the street at the clothing store at Carms Garms. Remember, Carms Garms. I, okay. Here for all Got your it. fashion needs. M main thing we learned is that her brother is the person on the on the kill list. Yeah. Somewhere. All right. Oh, stranger. Sounds good. Oh, don't need to look at that. I guess now I'll go back and grab that breastplate. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? 
you're my noble bearing. You're looking at a shirtless orc, but okay. Jahira sent me. I'm here to meet some harpers. Harpers? I'm afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, I'm sure. No, I don't know any, uh, Jahira, was it? Stop lying. Jahir has been known to feed people truth herbs. Clothgrass. I know the taste all too well. You too, I'd wager. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? Elsewhere, but she trusts me with this. She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise. Which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. The others are below. And bearing bad news by the looks of it. Before that, is there time to trade? Always. And maybe I'll switch to Jahir before I actually go down there. An eye patch. That can be fun. Jeez, yeah, these are big, big armors. So breastplate plus two. Carb of the land. Half plate plus two. Oh, that's gonna clear me out. I think that's as big as medium's gonna get is a seventeen. Possibly. Seems like it. Cloak of Displacement. And I still don't have a cloak in general, I don't think. I think it's time for me to equip the helmet I bought. I really need to find a way to increase my constitution. Uh, that's fine. I'm very heavy. Okay. Short father, bless you. Right. Put this new cloak on, put my shiny armor, send my old armor to camp before I fall over. Wait, you can't wear an eye patch? Well, why'd I buy it? That's stupid. <laughs> Did you just buy the eye patch that I sold to him just now? Oh no. <laughs> I feel so betrayed right now. Womp womp. Well, I got I got my first cloak ever. Bought it with one million dollars. Sort my shit again. There we go. What do I look like when I'm not disabling my gear? Very paladin. <laughs> I look extremely like a paladin now. It hath occurred. I am now um, a man in uniform. Oh my god, I shine so much outdoors. <laughs> this is a problem. I'm going back to being shirtless. There you we go. can, um, you can probably unequip the Ring of Absolute Force unless you use Thunder Wave a lot. Uh, I don't. One of your rings. Yeah, if you don't use it, then you can take the Ring of Truthfulness. I'll just put it in your inventory because that gives you advantage on insight checks which is useful oh damn yeah that's good yeah yeah I, I basically never i used thunder wave once last fight and that's the, oh maybe the only time ever yeah it's probably not useful for you then 
That is a lot of inside check. All right, I guess I'll switch to Jahira, and then we can go meet the Harpers underground. That could be good, yeah. Unless you're out of time. I'm not. All right, I'm going to swap. And look for Jahira, who is some... There she is. Chosen is a doppelganger. <laughs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. You seem to have experience with doppelgangers. This all begins to ring a little too familiar for my liking. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin, he's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that. Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. How are you failing without your harpers? You think me lonely? <laughs> in truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react. A little like the old days. Allies every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. I'd like to hear more about those old days. Would you? In time, then. Perhaps once you found a rocking chair for me to doze off in. Now we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Have you fought? Is it true that you fought the Dead Three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? You're not that old, are you? I've passed enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. Oh, that does remind me. Uh, way back when we first met Jahira in Act 2, I was like, oh my god, how long has it been since since Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? That's wild, because Jahira was kind of young in that game. Um, this game takes place like over 100 years after Baldur's Gate <laughs> 1 and 2. So yeah, she's fucking old. I'm never sure how long anyone lives anymore. I just think about... Uh... Um, it's like, is this, is this Tolkien rules where everybody lives for five million years? Or even the, like, I was like, oh, elves live for a long time, okay. And then how long do li humans live? Oh, for fucking ever. I'm like, okay, well, that's, my whole axis gone. Uh, I wanted to ask you something. Ask it. You mentioned you know something of Illithids. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief... And very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think. Saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Who are you speaking to? Maybe I'm a parasite puppeting this body. Then, greetings, Sir Tadpole. I was wondering where all the questions suddenly sprang from. J 
join me. You'll need to free up your ranks a little first. You can take Asterion's place. You'll stay here at the camp. At your command. Uh... I don't remember... You think they used the same voice actor or not? From the original? Yeah. They do not. I wasn't sure if the original even had voice acting, but I figured it had, like, at least some, like Fallout did. It does. It has voice acting, but uh, Jahira's voice actress is not the same, I don't think. Yeah. So Jahira has an AC of 21. Nope, I did it wrong. Which seems pretty good. I accidentally canceled it. I was giving my character face paint to hide his, uh... To obscure his, <laughs> gotcha. his, uh, his face. And I, I, I cancelled it or something. There is no full face paint. Let's see, where'd they say the key goes to? The High Harper. Waiting for us below his shop, okay. The door below his shop. Uh, back through this door maybe? Is this the door that's below the shop? Nope, oh, there's a hatch, yep. Here we go. I should probably move the resonance stone out of my inventory because it gives people disadvantage on mental saving throws, which is uh, annoying. Hi, everybody. You are not Jihira. Uh, you are very observant. I, I was hoping to greet the high harper beneath Salona's tears. She's not partnered with you, you so have she's the not. the lad a little nervous. You're the one toppled. Okay, let's just load. This interaction is goofy. Yeah, All right. put her in your inventory. Put her in your yeah. inventory. Uh, press G <laughs> to group group her. You yeah, know, I'll just quick save for the sake of it too. There. All right, work this time. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well. Yes, hi, Harper. Uh, standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as There's a doppelganger cold. in the room. I understand, Ooh. Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, <laughs> I am going to maneuver m myself and Lizel so that we are m in more advantage. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. Detect thoughts. Probe Jahira's thoughts for direction. Hold on. Guidance. There we go. Oh. Oh. It's... Alright, well, <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, well, I blew it. I think they're angry. We sure getting a lot of fights in this uh, area where no one's coming after us afterwards ever. Why are all of these Harpers evil, I wonder? Are they all doppelgangers? Yeah, I think they're working for the Absolute. Not all of them, because that guy knew. It's But he's the only us. one. Yeah. How the hell did they roll such fucking good initiative against us? They're gnomes. They're unpredictable. Yeah, 
Yep, they're doppelgangers. All right, well, Aura needs to fucking chill. Don't let yourself on fire, man. We want you to live through this. They made a tiger growl. He's got an Erebus. Oh. She's gonna push him off. <laughs> yep. Well, that's well not she tried. Too much. He didn't go as far as he could have. Because she couldn't get All behind right. him. Ow, my health. I need that to live. Oh, you're already up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I positioned myself up there while you were in dialogue. <laughs> Is there a particularly high level one? Why is Harper went from Harp the Harper went from green to yellow? Yeah, he's he's like a guest party member. So like the Harper had green a green icon and now he's got a yellow icon. He changed in the last turn. Yeah, he was always yellow for me. Weird. Oh, there's a Steel Watcher just right outside, of course. Uh, I guess this isn't enough of a fight to be worried, yeah. Uh, there's just two guys left. About to be one guy left. Damn it, I'm not, like, positioned right enough. What happens if I do this? Hmm... I'm wondering, it's probably fine to just throw one of these guys off, right? That'll teach him to mess with us. Critical Bye. miss. Split I'm sad splash. Now. She just fell right out of initiative order. And the world. What? No, I clicked attack. Why did he run away? That's dumb. This game's dumb. Mm, game's freaking out on me. It's so hard to select people sometimes. I keep saying I can attack. Mm, fuck it, I give up. <laughs> Who cares? But yeah, I just I can't get the attack to work. Wolfthorn's stupid hitbox is making the game unplayable. Alright. Uh, wow, she has action surge too. Oh uh, god, she has so many oh, She's like a spore druid? She has so many spells I haven't seen before. Symbiotic enmity. Oh, she has a lot of abilities I've never seen before. Um, does she have shillelagh? It's close enough to dying, I don't want to put that much into this fight. I don't think she has shillelagh. Weird. I should have action surged. Shit. She counter attacks. We're post. Oh now, oh, now he's green again. Hey, do you see him as green right now? Do 
toaster ran away. I didn't run away. I'm just waiting. And no, he's not green. He's just always been yellow. He's been yellow for me since I first came down. Yep. Have to keep going. The city's harpers appear to operate independently, each separate cell feeding into a ranking member who oversees a larger network. It's an effective method, distributing their efforts and ensuring that each new unit is safeguarded against the infiltration of the others. But once already compromised, this structure is their greatest weakness, with no individual Harper being able to tell where the contamination began and how far it has spread. And so while they scramble to rebuild themselves, we carry on with the Chosen's work. You won't have to wear those Harper smiles much longer. Orin has given the order. Kill the crone, but not before you tell her how her little soldiers died. Preserve some hair or sinew if you can. The Chosen would like to string a harp of her own. Very spiteful. Yeah. You lived, buddy. Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Salunas tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city. Like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead, evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. The Baalists, I think. Sworn to Orin the Red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rajamal. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin. While smiling at me out of her face. She said... It said... That I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And... I had no choice! I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin. Tortured. Sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper when you could still live as anything else? Clean yourselves up. <laughs> Ah, no, the conversation. It broke. No! It broke? Yeah, you you stopped the whole conversation and now it's ended. That's weird. Uh, it, it undid the choice because you attacked him or something. I didn't attack him. He got, uh... We he wasn't making, even in the AoE of that. He we just were, didn't like well, you like getting it, hit it, with it water. Ended. Like, we were making the choice about his fate and now I don't even know what happened. That sucks. I mean, we could always just re reload real quick. I guess, yeah. The same, it seems, is happening here. Maybe I'll do a better job this time. I have such high bonuses that it's like improbable I'd fuck up that bad. But I did. Success. Ah, oh, clever cub. This is an ambush. Strike first, while they focus on me. Straggle Jeer has them distracted. Does that give me higher initiative? No. What was the they're point of that? They're surprised. Then? Well, they waste oh, their all, first oh, turn. Oh, they're surprised. Got it. That makes sense. We can probably sense. end this in one turn then. Yep. Just gonna fairy fire. What? 
Oh, is Lazelle well, in there? Oh, that, that is Lazelle. It's fine. I used Indomitable, so I think I succeeded. Nope. How do I have disadvantage? Oh, they're a mind reader. That's annoying. I literally put fairy fire on them. Fight, friend. I'm still not clear on whether or not a fairy fire is a persistent area or if it's a one and done. Uh. I think it's when you cast it, Fairy Fire is cast on the people within the circle and it will follow them, but I could be wrong. Hmm. It seems to affect specific entities within a radius, so. For a while there, I thought it was a thing that happens to that spot. Um. Let's see. God, she has so many spells. Okay. Uh, down to two enemies. Uh, I'm not trying to shoot Kanth. Then she exploded. Yeah. Lysel does a beautiful amount of damage. All right, well, let's try this again. Why die a Harper when you could still live as anything else? No one can make that choice for him. Not even you, High Harper. I want to fight for Chelvin, for all of them. So it means something. Death is death. To look for meaning in it is foolishness, boy. Childish storybook nonsense. <laughs> exactly the kind the Harper would spout, I suppose. Fine. I have no right to make the choice for you. Not when this mess is of my making. I sent the Harpers hunting after the cult without thinking what it would mean to be hunted in turn. Now they are compromised. And if not for you, I wouldn't even know it. I'm sorry, Geraldus. Harper. And I owe you an apology as well. I haven't told you everything I hope to learn here today. First, Geraldus, you're the last Harper in the city I can rely on. Lay low and rest while you can. I have matters to discuss with my friend here. What matters are those, Jahira? <laughs> Lauren knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the False Facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. Except Geraldus. Except Geraldus. <laughs> It has been some time since anyone dared wrap my knuckles like you did. No less than I deserve. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rashomon? 
the name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. There isn't a Baldurian alive doesn't know that name. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. I suspect there's more to the story than that. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Mint charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. Sorry, Jahira. It's a cruel choice to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Then let's find him. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? <laughs> perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. I can't believe Min Minsk is actually in this game and we're going to find him. Yeah, I'm taking from the dialogue that Minsk is one of the party members in one of the first two games. He's the fan favorite goofy guy who is a barbarian <laughs> ranger who carry a barbarian ranger, I think, or ranger fighter or something who carries around a miniature gigantic space hamster named Boo. I take it that he's yeah, I took it that he's got himbo energy going by H like him. A, mm, he was like, she was like, you'll get I guess you'd get along when he just said yes with nothing else to it. Yeah, he's less of a himbo and more of actually an idiot. <laughs> like himbos, he he, he literally talks in a voice like this and he's like get him boo we'll take him down well, like it's he's well, i can't wait annoying. to meet him now <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're gonna find him and he's take the goofy him meme, meme character that or the, or the game will have horribly slaughtered him for shock value let's find out <laughs> yeah